Welcome to Generational Wealth. In this video, we will go over trading London session. So first things first, before we even start, we always want to enable your session breaks. So if you're not already familiar with session breaks, you want to go to your settings under appearance, and right here where it says session breaks, you want that to be checked. So this session breaks are these white vertical lines in the background of my chart. And those are representing a 24 hour period of activity separating the days for you. So you can kind of see what's happening on a 24 hour period. Another thing, is I have an indicator in the background of my chart with these three shades of color represent Asian session, London session, and then New York session. Now, I also like to place uh, a vertical tool on my chart at the very opening of London session. Uh, just because the simple reason I am aware that all indicators tend to lag. So um, being that it does lag, I do place my tool, my vertical tool on the chart to help identify the very opening of London session. So London session opens right after our Asian consolidation. So as you already should be aware that our Asian consolidation tends to consolidate for a longer period of time uh, than our London session and our New York session. So Asian session is when the market maker is accumulating orders as well as making a manipulation move right before uh, moving the market. So when trading London session, you also want to keep in mind of the ADR, which is the average daily range. If you are not already familiar with that, uh, go check out a previous video on the ADR. The ADR will pretty much help you when trading this London session strategy uh, because you wanna be familiar when the market is going to reverse. So the ADR giving us the volatility of each pair, each currency pair we're trading, we have a better idea of knowing when the market wants to reverse. So being that Asian session is starting that 24 hour period, we want to identify that high because that is starting our average daily range volatility of that pair, which is very important because it's, like I said before, it's letting you know pretty much uh, when to take profit and when this pair is expected to reverse after the ADR has been filled. So another thing I look for is uh, when trading on the session is the highs and lows of Asian session. The actual highs and lows of Asian session. Because one of the sessions like to react pretty fast off the highs and the lows of the Asian session, as well as uh, previous zones. So I look for a previous zone of the day, the week, et cetera, um, during around that Asian session. So I can catch my London, my London move. Now, uh, a lot of people are taught trading London session, trading the London breakout. Uh, Cause usually they trade the breakout, uh, but they're not necessarily known which direction the breakout is going to occur at all. 
So that's kind of like trading blindly. Uh, it's kind of like trading blindly. You're not, you're not aware of which way the market's going to go. So you kind of, you know, it, you're not you're not aware. So there's no really point of trading a breakout. You know, a, a breakout strategy. So now that we have went over a couple of the confluences of trading this, let's kind of let's let's look at it so we can get a better idea. Better example. So let's find the fit down chain and the up chain. Okay, this is a down chain. We can start to shift. So this is a good down chain, up chain right here. Let's start right here at this down chain. And if the market makes its first move right here, and then start shifting to the downside. So we see uh, the, the shift to the downside right here. Started right here. This down chain started after this strong move here. So first thing uh, on here, the shades, the three shaded areas in the background. The pinkish color represents my Asian session. The yellow represents my London session. And then the blue represents my New York session. So I will also be placing a pink vertical line at the very opening of London session. as such. So now what I would like to do, in order to catch this trade, right, to catch this move, right here, so it goes back into consolidation. Let me show you. We mark our opening. Then we want to mark our high and our low of Asian. This is our high of Asian. This is the low of Asian. Also, we want to mark any zones inside we see inside of Asian, inside of our Asian session, any zones in there. We got our high, we got our low right here. Not necessarily any zones, it's like pretty much is a zone itself. So what do we see? Asian session. Actually, we got a little smaller long like right here, I guess, huh? And right here. Let's mark a high, let's mark a zone a little different. Uh, with a box. So let's go ahead and mark our zone with a box. So this, of course, we see a strong zone here, right? We got our Asian high part. Or even low mark. Now, what London session likes to do is it moves very quick, and we want to look for these entries uh, most of the time an hour before or an hour after the opening, and that's with New York as well. You want to look for your entries an hour before or an hour after. Now, in some cases, we can get a move event that uh, you know push it to market and makes us wait a couple hours or et cetera due to the manipulation and inducing what's going on from the market maker. So, uh, and, and that's something you should always keep aware of any fundamentals when trading for confluence. So um, back to the example, we got here, we got our Asian high, our Asian low, we got the opening of New York, we have London session happening, and then we have our zone. Asian session comes up to the zone, stop hunts the high of eight, or London session comes up, opens up, stop hunts the high of Asian, comes to the zone area before it continues to reverse. So now, <clears throat> excuse me, as I've been back testing this, you guys, uh, and I suggest, of course, recommend doing the same. Always back test. Don't never take uh, my word from showing you. Always go. Go and see it yourself. Go, go do the back test and you can always see it yourself so that way you can see it yourself playing out. Uh, this, this I've been seeing as far as London session happens, I'll say probably 70% um, of the time that we get this, that London reversal 
move off of the high or low occasion or the previous zone. So let's do it again. Drag our um, indicator right, our uh, line right on over to the opening of London. We identify our high of Asian right here. Or let's say we can use this for our low. And then our high of Asian is right here, right? High of Asian is right about right there. And then what do we see? London session opens right here. Perfect entry off the low of Asian session before reverse. So it get, gave us right here, it came and gave us a little fake out and that's before it kind of got back up and reverse. But right here at the opening, off the low of Asian, it reversed. Nice, nice uh, pip move right here. This is 180, 188 pips right there. Let's look at it again. We got our Asian session, opens up. We we'll mark it right here. And that's when it opened. Of course, what do we see? Mark our Asian low. We mark our Asian high. Do we have any zones? We do got some zones in this area. We mark that. Some zone right there. We got our Asian high, low, and zone. And what do we get? Asian opened up. Play is right off of that zone before it reverses. And actually kind of wait until New York sessions to open up to reverse, but you see it kind of still stayed in that zone. Let's go again. We got our Asian session high right here. We got our Asian session low right here. And then we also have a zone inside of here. Let's mark our opening right there, which gave us this small little move right here to the downside, which well, really wasn't nothing what we expected. So right now about 20, 30 pips or so, we opened up. Oh no, this is actually what A U. So no, this is a good one. So, so this is off the uh we got our high of Asian right here. The low of Asian made. This is a zone. London opened up and reversed off that zone. Actually, that was hundred pips. Nice hundred pips. Of course, um, if you trade New York session. Um, or check out the previous video on trading New York session. Uh, you could have caught both of these moves right here. Asian session, uh, high, Asian session, low, Asian session, zone, New York, New London session comes and opens and react off of that zone. I got to tell you, this is happening 70% of the time. London is usually reversing off that high of Asian, that low of Asian, or that zone. So, and then what do we see that New York, New London open? About an hour or so, a little couple hours or so after it starts to make its move, drop to the downside. And then what do we see here? We see New York opened up for the reversal move right here. And it's an 80 pip move to the upside. So, and that's a nice little daily structure right there. That's a nice little 80 pips, 100 pips down on the downside, another 80 up to the upside for a daily cycle structure in New York and London opening. So let's uh, look at another example here. We have Asians low, we have Asians high. Do we have a zone? Yes. We have a zone in this area, let's mark them. What do we see at the opening? Perfect. Came up right off the low. Asian session shot up, reacted off the low of Asian. London session, I mean, broke out off the low of Asian. 
Like I said, we've seen this happen a lot. Off the low and the high and off the zone of Asia. Let's do it again. Drag these on over. First, let's mark our Asia. Opening. We have our high of Asia. We have our low of Asia. What do we have? A zone. Yes, we have a zone in there. See the zone, guys? And you might have to scroll in and see this, but you see the zone. Opens up. What happened an hour before? It reversed the hour before entry, before um, London session opened up, right to the downside. Right off that zone. Nice. Uh, let's see how many pips we get there. Right off that zone. So. 290 pips. Two hundred and ninety. That's crazy. Uh, look like we're starting to get a shift. So look like we're starting to get a shift in the trend. So when we start to get that shift, uh, let's go ahead and identify that as well. We got our low of Asian, our high of Asian. So of course, if we had our ADR, we have to expect some movement to the upside, right? So we see London already. Uh, we see already the downtrend happening right here. And we got Asia session with this strong move to the downside. And based off the ADR of this pair, you know, uh, if it's been filled or not, when the price got down here, um, we don't know what to expect. So our Asian low, our Asian high, do we have a zone, an Asian session we see? Yes, we do. Our Asian session, we actually had two zones there too um, to identify. Let me mark the other one. But you want to mark these zones, guys, inside an Asian session because they are important because they're going to tell you because uh, London session likes to react off those zones, off Asian high. And London session will make little, little small M and W formation as well off of the London session will make those small M and W formations off of Asian session. So you have to uh, identify those. And like I said, I'm doing this on the 15 minute time frame, and this will be the best uh, time frame to uh, capitalize off this. Because you're able to see the move happen. You're able to see it happen. You can identify it better on this 15 minute time frame. Um, because that's how we're going to trade our, that's how we trade our daily cycle structure. You know, that's how you're going to see the move and get the precise entry. So we got our Asian session high, our low, our zone, which New York op or London opened up. Of course, you can kind of start to see it now happen right here. I'm starting to see it. Right there. We opened up. Perfect entry to the upside. Perfect entry to the upside. They would catch the market at a perfect time. And then as well, um, this is April, or this is March 19th. Look at the calendar. That is a Thursday, guys. That's a Thursday. So, of course, what do we expect on Thursdays? What happened? Trend change, maybe reversal. So this was Thursday. So Thursday, Asian session came down here. We already expected our maybe reversal once we've seen this push. Entry for opening of London with the continuation. Crazy, right? Uh, let's see what we have here. Uh, we got the high of Asian. We got the, uh, let me get this. Mark our low of Asian. Let's go ahead and drag that over to identify. This was, this was obvious enough for you guys. Um, yeah. And then we got any zone inside this Asian range we have this one here and then of course 
that previous day zone, that high, you cannot not mark that uh, area where this wick wicked up there. Of course, that's a strong zone, you see, right there. And what did happen at London session? Nice macro formation right there. Opened up, reversed off the zone. And that was off the previous zone. So these zones are important to look for. Uh, the Asian session highs and lows are important to look for. Very important to look for. So let's mark it again. Uh, we got our high of Asian session. Uh, that's the high of Asian session. And remember, guys, uh, Asian session, this area right here, this grayed out area, is this is still considered Asian session as well. Uh, Asian session consolidates for a while. Um, so just keep in mind that when trading, you know, if you place these Forex time sections on your chart, uh, that this the shaded area is an indicator that it lacks. So you have to actually, you know, understand the structure of the market maker to um, trade this. You have to understand the structure. Don't get too caught up with literal things like these tools and indicators we use. Look at the structure. Look at the price action. So again, we have our high. If, uh, we have our high. We got a zone in that area, of course, too. Uh, we got a zone there. We can identify this zone, too, if you want. Right there. And then as identify our opening of London, which is right here. Opening of London. Uh, actually, got a, kind of made a little early move right here. Off the zone of Asian session, reverse to the downside. 75 pip move. New York session opened up, reversed it for 120 pips. Thank you. But as you see by now, guys, uh, this is playing out over and over. You know, this, this is happening over and over. Same thing. Let's identify um, the next example. Identify Asians high. Asians low is down here. Do we have any zones? Of course we do. We have a zone inside this Asian right here. And then we also keep in mind of this previous day. Because you know when we're doing this guys, you always have to keep in mind of the macro of the macro uh, time frame and what's going on. You know, when we're going to this 15 minute, that's it's to get us a better entry, a better, better precise entry. That way we can see the structure better. But you always, always want to be aware of what's going on on this higher time frame because that is the storyteller, okay? Uh, once again, like we've seen this zone over there, London session opened up right here. Give us our move to the downside. New York edge session opened up here to the upside. So uh, London sessions is down, New York reversed it. Off of the zone of Asian session. Once again, we have Asians high. Asians low. We have a zone inside this. We'll see the zone here. Right there is looking the past. I was gotta look in the zone past to get these zones too, guys. So we got a strong area right there. So let's go ahead and put that right there and drag that on over. And what do we see? Uh, let's mark our London opening. One session opened up right here. 
it's kind of the spot punt of Asian session high before it kind of reversed to the downside right here. New York opened up with a continuation uh, entry to the downside. So um, if you're familiar with the uh, New York session, uh, um, catching continuation or the reversal move, London opened it up off the high of Asian session before it reversed to the downside. And New York gave you that second, second chance to get in on that entry. So like I said, guys, this is, this is playing out over and over. It's playing out over and over and over on this. Um, and this is like 70% of the time you see this. So like I said, go back test it, you know, so you can get a better understanding. I was at and identify this as the high or this as the high. Either way, it's still um, it's still wrong. London session opens up right here off the zone of Asian session before it makes the moves. And you see, it's making quick moves right off these zones. Quick moves. Right off these zones, all the time it's making the moves. So, I mean, this tends to play out over and over and over and over, guys. So, it's reversing. Run a session likes to reverse off these zones. So, take your time, back test this. You know what I'm saying? Back test this out so that way you can kind of see it happening over and over and over. That way you can identify the highs the lows of Asian session and then the zone and then see your your London session uh, reversing off of that over and over. But you have to uh, understand the daily cycle structure to trade this. You have to understand the, uh, the discipline behind it as well as um, being up and being up at the time an hour before so that way you can catch the whole movement and see the actual structure play out before you take the trade. So um, I will go over this more in depth in another video. But again, thank you for watching.